hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the integrated rate law for a general nth order reaction where n is not equal to 1, and then we are going to derive an expression for the half-life of a generalized nth order reaction where n is not equal to 1. Here we have the differential form of the rate law for a general nth order reaction, and we're specifying that n is not equal to 1. As a first step, you multiply each side of the equation by dt, and then multiply each side of the equation by the concentration of a to the minus nth power. So often we write this as 1 over a to the nth, but it's going to be convenient to write it with a negative exponent in this case. Next, we integrate each side. The integration limits on the left-hand side are going to be a sub 0, which is the initial concentration of a, to a, which is the current concentration of a, and on the right-hand side between time t equals 0 and then time t equals t. Then we can use the general form for the integral of some variable to the minus n power, so long as n is not equal to 1, and we have that it's going to be a to the minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 1, and then we evaluate it between the limits of the integral using the fundamental theorem of integral calculus. The right-hand side simply becomes minus kt, since at one of the limits, t is equal to 0, and that vanishes. So pulling the minus, uh, the 1 over minus n plus 1 factor out in front, we get that the left-hand side becomes 1 over minus n plus 1 times a to the minus n plus 1 power minus a sub 0 to the minus n plus 1 power is equal to minus kt. So it would be convenient to get rid of the minus sign on the right-hand side, so what we're going to do is multiply each side by minus 1 and then simplify. After we multiply each side by minus 1, this initial factor now becomes 1 over n minus 1, and the right-hand side becomes positive kt, and recall that this is for the case where n is not equal to 1. This is going to be a convenient form of the integrated rate law for us to use to begin to calculate an expression for the half-life of a generalized nth order reaction where n is not equal to 1. By definition, the half-life is the time at which the concentration of A is equal to the initial concentration of A, this A sub 0, divided by 2, and the time is equal to T sub 1 half, the half-life time. Now note, if this is true by the power, uh, properties of exponents, then the concentration of A to the y power is equal to the initial concentration of A to the y power divided by 2 to the y power. Since this expression is true for the exponent y, we just pick a specific exponent, minus n plus 1, so now we have that the concentration of A to the minus n plus 1 power is equal to the concentration of A initial to the minus n plus 1 power divided by 2 to the minus n plus 1 power. If we now substitute this expression, in the form of this expression, into our integrated rate equation, we get this somewhat messy looking 1 over n minus 1 times the concentration of A initial to minus n plus 1 power divided by 2 to the minus n plus 1 power minus the concentration of A initial to the minus n plus 1 power is equal to k times the half lifetime t sub 1 half. And in the next step, we're going to simplify this expression to make it more uh, clear. We make a second note that I can write x to the y power as 1 over x to the minus y power. So we can move uh, expressions involving exponents from the numerator into the denominator so long as we multiply the exponent by minus 1. Now making use of this property, I can convert a sub 0 to the minus n plus 1 power to a sub 0 to the n minus 1 power in the denominator. Because notice if I multiply minus n plus 1 by minus 1, I get n minus 1. Similarly, I can 
move this expression in the denominator, 2 to the minus n plus 1, to the numerator as 2 to the n minus 1. Again, I'm using the trick that I can multiply minus n plus 1 times minus 1, and that gives me n minus 1. So we get this particular expression, which will be easier to simplify. I notice that I have a common denominator of a sub 0 to the n minus 1, so I can write this as one fraction and then pull the factor of 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1 in front over n minus 1, and then what was formerly inside here is now 1 over a sub 0 to the n minus 1 power. We have one remaining step, and that is to multiply each side of the equation by k to give us an expression for the half-life time. So dividing each side of the equation by the rate constant k and doing some more uh, simplification, we get that the half-life time is going to be the quantity 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1 divided by k quantity n minus 1 times the con initial concentration of a to the n minus 1 power, so long as n is not equal to 1. And this is the half-life expression that we wanted. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe, and as always, have a go.